Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to a new video. As always, I'm here with Alexander, and today's topics will be our gravity form integration add on. So, we will show you how you can connect those and also make some tables with gravity forms. Alexander, if you can now share a screen with me and with us so we can start the tutorial. Of course. Let me share my screen. Okay. Okay. First thing to mention here is that you need, well, WP data tables, gravity forms, uh, gravity forms, and the gravity forms integration for WP data tables. So, one, two, and three. Three plugins total to make this work. Uh, the gravity forms plugin is not included in the, in the add-on at all. That's right, that's right. The add-on itself is only used to create tables from existing gravity forms. And basically you must own WP data tables and also gravity forms plugin. That is correct. Okay. Okay, so uh, we've prepared one test form here, which is currently empty, has no entries. Mm -hmm. And the fields included are product, which is a text field, license, we've added basic, pro and developer. Uh, this is actually a drop down field, amount and website. So okay. since it doesn't have any entries, when we try to create a table linked to an existing data source and choose uh, gravity forms, this form will not be uh, created because it's empty. So error table and data source has no rows. So, so you must have some data. Exactly. Um, when I click on preview, we can add product WP data tables, uh, license, let's say pro amount one. And this is our website to the pricing page. So submit. Thanks for contacting us. You can change this. This is default settings of uh, gravity forms. So when we hit save changes again, the table is created, just loads, and here's that entry that we've just made. Entry date, entry ID, user, and user IP are default fields, which are added automatically. We don't actually need them, but if you want to include them, they are available for every um, gravity form. So these four fields that we've included in the form are in the table right here. So let's add a couple more entries just to um, show Let's, for example, use Amelia. And let's say two. pricing. Okay, submit. And when we refresh the page or simply click on save changes, the second row will also appear. So here it is Amelia and WP data tables. Um, this column website is automatic automatically saved as URL link, we can just open in a new tab make it a no follow link and set it to appear as a button for example purchase save and here it is so if we click on it it takes us to a new tab for amelia and that's pretty much it the okay can you walk us through the tabs and the settings for the right of course, um, I need to um, tell you about this first. Uh, sorting, searching and uh, filtering may not work as expected for complex entries when server side is turned on. Um, basically, when when server side is turned on, I believe that it's going to work correctly now, but 
for complex yes it works at the moment but for complex um, tables it may not work correctly now our developers will be working on it so hopefully it will be fixed soon um, okay so I've basically covered the data source page um, server-side processing is mandatory if you want to um, edit the gravity form base table now these that you see the the restricted yeah. assign those cannot be changed so you can limit editing to own data only this also cannot be changed so the user ID column is automatically selected from from here as you can see the user ID is automatically added and you cannot exclude it because we've enabled limit editing to own data only um, so we can show all rows in the table in admin area and choose which buttons will appear on front end basically like any other um, editable table so inline editing is not supported buttons in a popover is not supported so you can only enable editing and choose if it's if it only applies to the currently logged in user we'll disable that for the moment but we'll leave editing enabled and save changes so we can now modify existing entries let's say we want to change pro to um, developer submit there it is uh, something yep okay that was just the notice that uh, it has been changed so when we go back to forms and go to entries it's also changed there you can add a new entry so let's say gravity forms integration for WP data tables license developer amount one website it's just not pricing it's add-ons so click on submit it's added and if we refresh entries there it is right there okay so you can basically add more data from our plugin not just the right form yes but it only goes one way so uh, you can add uh, data to the existing form but you cannot create a new form from WP data tables uh -huh. okay. okay so display tab and sorting and filtering tabs they're the same as any other WP data table um, if you want to allow filters sorting uh, show filters in a form above the table um, these hide table before filtering and cascade filtering are actually a part of our other add-on powerful filters so if you don't have that you won't see these two options um, table tools are export tools so print Excel CSV copy and PDF and gravity settings uh, show deleted records so we can enable this to show records in WP data tables that have been deleted from gravity forms and show the user only their own entries so even without enabling editing this should be available if we save changes and go to um, gravity settings we can show the user only their own entries um, this option is available in gravity forms based tables for other tables you need to enable editing in order to show for users to see and edit only their own data so another thing here that we can filter by date range last uh, time period and uh, this master detail settings is also coming from our uh, other add-on master details so if you don't have that you won't see this tab right here um, I want to show you one more thing we have we currently have an issue with uh, gravity forms if we add an attachment field let me see file upload and we update it 
and preview choose the file let me see some pictures uh, logo okay let's say TMS logo WP data tables basic amount to pricing and submit now when we refresh the page we can add that field as well here it is file upload save changes and it will appear in the table actually it's saved as a, as a file as a URL link so we'll set it to image and there it is now um, if you are to edit this row when we of course enable editing if you edit this row um, unfortunately at the moment attachments will be lost so if I'm to edit this and simply click on submit the file disappears that's a bug that we're supposed to um, that we are going to work on but just in case that anyone has a big form with a lot of entries don't try to um, edit that table with the file because you're gonna lose that file okay that's nice to know yeah um, okay one last thing here is to copy the short code and um, add it to a page so when we create a new page gravity forms and simply add the short code we can see the table on front end now my page is really ugly because <laughs> I'm using some I'm testing some um, theme some other. yeah uh, but basically this is the the table on front end let me see if I can change this real quick use some other theme for example storefront and refresh the page there it is a lot better yeah so uh, I'm testing something with the with the other theme so it messed up but anyway editing is enabled and you can edit data on front end also you can see that the form comes up if you add a new entry uh, pretty much the same Amelia Pro one website and file editing file is not supported at the moment so yeah and something okay yeah file upload okay the error you saw was for file upload because it's not working unfortunately but here it is okay basically you can also delete some entries from the from the front end yes yes you can delete it um there it is it's gone okay so nice nice thank you you're welcome Bogdan. let me stop presenting my screen if you don't have okay, yeah, I don't see myself double. okay <laughs> so guys that's basically it thank you alexander you're welcome again and if you have any more suggestions or questions please let us know in the comment section below Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Bye. See you. Bye-bye.